I will cook you the most expensive meal of your life. What? So sorry. Platypus eggs are off the menu. Uh, blue boy in a platy cat suit. Get him! Hey, give me back my eggs! <laughs> Martin, over here! Huh. Thanks, bro. Hey, do you have the platypus sensory power yet? <gasps> no, but I'll trade that for these webbed feet that don't run. Aviva! It's ready! Teleport, Jimmy. Cool. Mobile delivery. Whoa! Jimmy's getting good. Platypus sense on. All right, lights out. Now I got you. Where'd he go? Okay, now we can finish my plan. Do you see a meat mallet somewhere on the counter? Yeah, got it. Tied to the string hanging from the ceiling. Okay, now grab the trip wire over by the cabinet doors. Tie that to the lower cabinet. Okay, all set. Let the dinner show begin. I got you. Get your hands off me. Oh, over here. Eggs, anyone? Get those wild rats. Ha, I've got you now. Now give me back my $5,000 eggs. Ah. There go some bad eggs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Now let's get these good eggs back to mom. Well, there's no doubt about it. Animals are great inventing partners. Thanks for showing me your sixth sense, Plato. Hey, thanks to you, we got Plato's eggs back safe and sound. Hatching free and in the wild. <laughs> Welcome to the world, Platter. You made it, Platty. Hey, here's your mama. Aww. Oh, that's cold. Making my brother wear that outfit? Ouch. And throw that move? Oh. 10,000 pairs oh. of ears. Give me 500 heads. Oh, oh, oh. I want all the Draco red buckles. <gasps> but worse, making him sell living Draco lizards? At this rate, she'll sell off all the Dracos in the forest, tonight. I've got to stop that show. If I could take out that beam controlling Martin. Oh, but it's too far, too far for me to glide to. How am I going to get there? I would be such a better top model than that. What? The other one too? Something's wrong here. Get him! Oh, no! Oh, yes! Zackpots are exactly what I need! I'm gliding to the creature rescue, Draco style! Woohoo! Oh, boy. Zippy, I'm free! What? And now for you and the rest of your kind. You're much more beautiful, unfrozen, and alive. Draco's back where they belong. may be fleeting, but I'll be back next season. Gliding free and in the wild. Hold it, wild rats. 
I am not gonna let you ruin this fashion show. Mommy? Get it off! Your dicky feet are scratchy! <laughs> <laughs> Now that's what I call flying off the rack. And way to work those threads, MK. It's the new you. <laughs> oh, I like Chris's outfit better. Yeah, you did it again, Aviva. All aboard. Nothing like gliding around on a moonlit night making lizard jewelry out of tree resins and flower pigments. Now that's real attractive. If we wait, we might never see googly eye again. I know, and look, these are 99% done. That's pretty much there. I mean, what could go wrong? True, and we at least have to test them out. Yeah, we'd be doing Aviva um, a favor. Right, a favor. I'll just leave her a little note. Let's go! Googly eye, here we come! Pepperoni ice cream. These are awesome. Yeah, with the iris open all the way and the light sensing cones on high. The moonlight lights up everything. All right, so where are you, googly eye? Uh, Martin, do you feel like we're being watched? Yeah, like from back there. Oh. Hmm, nothing. Hmm. Let's keep going. Hmm. What? What do you mean, what? Huh? Huh, what? Huh, hey. who? Hey, who? Who, where? Where what? What? Googly eye. eye! Check it out. We have googly eyes, too. Hello, little alien creature. We come as friends. Googly eyes, one and all. <gasps> <laughs> Follow that tarsier. I wonder where he's taking us. I don't know, but he sure seems to. This? This tree? What is so special about this tree? Hey, Martin, you know, we're pretty deep in the forest now. Martin? Huh? Yeah, who knows where this tree is on the map? We better mark our route on the GPS. Pass me my creature pod. What do you mean? You have the creature pods, don't you? No, you were supposed to grab them off the charger. I was. No, you were. I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, nope. Huh. So, what you're telling me is that we're deep in the Indonesian rainforest, in the middle of the night, without our creature pods, following a tiny elusive primate, with nothing but these experimental night vision goggles that could fail at any minute? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Awesome! Now, where'd Googly Eye get to? <gasps> He's on your head. He's on your head, too. Wait a second. More, More googly, googly eyes. eyes. Wow. A whole family of Tars ears. <laughs> <sighs> Why am I craving a big raw steak that's been left out overnight? Uh, yeah, because you're half Krat and half Tea Devil. No, I'm not. Look at me. I'm in control. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, yeah, T-Bone. I smell that, too. <laughs> Rotten carcass somewhere around here. <laughs> Gotta find it. <laughs> we can smell well from up here. <laughs> My nose seems super sensitive, too. I feel like I could sniff out a rotting carcass from a kilometer away. <laughs> T-Bone, smells like it's coming from over there! <laughs> Only young T-Devils can climb trees. Not big Chris Devils in totally out of control creature power suits. Relax, Martin. I'm fine. 
I'm thinking the little tea devils climb so they can get higher up to get a better sniff on the carcasses. Over there, let's go! We're getting close to the guy's location. What's up, Koki? Aren't you supposed to be keeping track of the tag tea devils? I can't get any work done because rotten meat and carcasses gross me out. I hear you, but as part of the Wild Kratz crew, we're gonna meet all types of animals. Live ones and ones that have died of natural causes. Yeah, but animals that eat rotten stuff, yuck! Hey, somebody's gotta eat maggoty meat. At least it's the tea devils and not us. <laughs> Nothing left but bones, and the tea devils are still munching. Look at all that good stuff inside. Bone marrow. That's nutritious food if you can get to it. Yeah, not every animal has the tooth and jaw strength to bust open the bone and get to the marrow. But tea devils do. Hey, stop breathing on my neck. Ah! Your teeth are huge. They're growing. <laughs> tea devil teeth never stop growing. Why? That's why. Chewing on hard bones wears them down. They need teeth that keep growing so they can crunch bones. Hmm. The great thing about being a scavenger is you can eat things that other creatures can't. Nothing goes to waste when a tea devil's around. Want a bone, T-Bone? Hey, he was just with me a minute ago. Hmm. I'm not getting any signal on the tea devils You've lost your tea devil mind, and now T-Bone is lost. How's the Firefly disc going? Just need to infuse the disc with bioluminescence. Wow, you figured out the formula for bioluminescence that easily? Well, there was one mishap along the way. Yeah, this mishap. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. But we learned that the Firefly, or lightning bug, mixes two chemicals, luciferin and luciferase, with oxygen inside its belly to create a glow. That's how they do it, and how we do it, too. Excellent! Let's go rescue them! Can't rush out yet. We may be able to mimic Blinker's flash pattern, but we still don't know if the lightning bugs will follow it. Oh, it'll work. I'll sneak in there as a firefly and bust them out of jail. Great escape style! Guys. Up for grabs! Check it out, an ivory build woodpecker! What, really? That could be the only one left. Looks like we're doing the creature rescue my way. I say we study these lightning bugs more and make sure we can lure them away from Danita by copying their flash patterns. Sounds good. Meet me there when you're ready. Activate Firefly Power! I'm gonna wing it. Fireflying! I'm fine, guys. I'm gonna save the planet with Creature Powerful! <laughs> Why didn't it open? Uh, looks like you're too small to activate the automatic door. Thanks, dude. I knew it! Danita's made it back to her mansion in the mountains. I'll be right behind you, bro. How long until the second disc is ready? I'm gonna need about 30 minutes. I have to reset the system before I output it. That gives me time to test the pattern to see if you actually do follow it. I've spotted a firefly in the tall grass, flashing irregularly. It may be injured. Going in to see if everything's all right. Oh, yo, dude, give it to me up high. Huh? Oh, whoa, is it something I said? Wait a second, you're not the average firefly. You're not a Fatina species. You're a... Oh, tourist species. What? Clever. You tricked me. You make the same flashing patterns of the female for tiny species. To lure males in and eat them. Ah, must stop her from trying to eat me. Okay, you two. Break it up, break it up. Let me at her. Martin, stay focused. You've got thousands of fireflies to rescue. Now go. To the creature rescue. The creature power suits and the bat power discs are ready to go. I can hardly wait to see the guys try them out. Me neither. With you there, bro. Here you go. Thanks, Aviva. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. 
Don't thank me, thank Bite Size. He showed me just how amazing and resourceful little brown bats really are. If it weren't for him, I might still think bats are just little creepy animals. Well, bro, let's do this. Activate creature power. We're the Bat Brothers now, Oof. and we're flying to the ah. creature rescue! Ow. We are? What creature rescue? Dunno, but there's always a creature rescue. <laughs> <laughs> I think you two should take a trip through the miniaturizer. Not enough room in here for those bat wings. Besides, little bite-sized brownie boy, or whatever you've called him this time, is waving bye-bye now. No! Bite-sized! Back! Hurry, Aviva, before we lose him! Miniaturizer's powered up. We're good to go. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bite Size! Wait up! Goodbye, and don't come back anytime soon. Come on, Koki. I used to think bats were icky creepy. But now that I've got to know them, I like them. Yeah, bats are cool. What would be cool is my zucchini plants growing better. It's summer, and what summer without chocolate zucchini bread? Yeah. There he goes! Follow that bat! While the kids are snoozing, the bats are cruising. <laughs> oh, yeah! Woo! I love bat power! Good one! Hey, did you notice something about bite size, Martin? He's not catching mosquitoes anymore. He must be full, because if insects are abundant, a little brown bat can fill his belly in the first two hours after the sun goes down. Right yard, bro. A brown bat can eat as many as 3,000 mosquitoes each night, and almost all of that happens right after the sun goes down. Speaking of going down, White Size is heading straight for that pond. He's drinking on the fly. Gotta, Gotta try, try it. it. Not that thirsty. 